attempts to force him to sit down and negotiate with the Tigers. I think we can deal with them, but we need the sympathy of the world, we need the support of India, because they are training camps in India, they are being trained in India, and they are operating from India, they move about freely in India, and I don't think they should be allowed to do that, to use violence against a friendly state. But therefore you feel that within Sri Lanka you have no alternative but to fight the guerrillas until you defeat them militarily? Until they give up arms, yes. Nothing else I can do. But the danger would be that in the process of defeating them militarily, supposing you can do it, yes. you then alienate a lot of Tamil opinion which says, well, at least these people are Tamils and we don't want to see them killed. I don't think so. I think I'm not afraid of alienating Tamil opinion. I'm afraid of alienating public opinion in the world. Your country and other countries, including large section in India, have a wrong impression of what is happening there. They think it's an ethnic conflict. It's not an ethnic conflict. It's a conflict of some people who want to capture the whole of Sri Lanka, not uh, a portion, the whole of Sri Lanka, and make it a Marxist state.